asked uh, Jamie, I called her, I said, hey, I want to write her a song for her birthday. And uh, I said, but I need some details. So the fact that I know some of these details, it's not because I'm stalking you, all right? Or I'm outside your window. Like, you're like, how does he know that? <laughs> Pink underwear, you know? Uh, so um, you don't have to be nervous. This will be both honoring and funny, I hope. Uh, it really does. Uh, I appreciate you, and as I had the privilege to get up close to you and see your heart and all that you do and understanding not only the power of narrative but the power of what you do is not just your understanding of it and how you display that it's because you live in the narrative that you speak of and that's the power that's the power of someone's life and so the chorus to this is really where my heart went apart from some of these you know and then you'll know the details Y'all going to get to know her real quick here. It's going to be fun. I'm thankful for the joy and, and uh, the strength and the courage you have to live life and to come alive. Most of us play it safe so much, and we think that somehow life is meant to somehow be endured. And folks, we all know there are moments where sometimes just getting through the day should give you a gold medal, right? <laughs> so please understand, I'm not saying we all should have Walter Mitty days every single day, right? But I do believe this, that every day is truly a gift and a miracle that we have been given. And if our heart still beats and we have eyes to see, man, we need to involve ourselves deeply in it. And the most important moment, this is, you guys are going to laugh, but this is true. The most important moment we will ever live is the one we're in right now. I thought I'd do a real storyteller, kind of folksy, waltzy, Chris Christopherson kind of thing. Details supplied, copyright, 2017, Jamie. All right. She was born in 1965 with some shiny brown eyes in the middle of the U.S. of A. A pretty girl, oh, that would change the world. And Tracy was her name. Well, she grew up kind of quick and she took a few licks, but her adventurous heart beats wild and free. Well, she's colorful, I do believe, and her smile can make a blind man see. A barefoot Dora the Explorer, she is indeed. <laughs> Minus the damn monkey. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the D. So damn sweet girl in this beautiful mess. And sing sweet girl the melody inside your chest and dream sweet girl catch the wind kiss the sky and take those broken wings and fly well she went to Duke and this is where I puke <laughs> But something finally good, good comes out of there with class. Well, she has an MDiv, that's swell, and a doctorate as well, and an accordion playing, storytelling, red wine, drinking chocolate, eating badass. She is. She loves Save Your Soul Dance Night at the Lithuanian Dance Hall. You heard me right. Says she comes from good peasant stock. Man, that's kind of sexy if you ask me. Huh? <laughs> well, Charles Village is her queen abode. Her life is my favorite episode. And she's my only friend that will buy me weed. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Did I say that out loud? Did I? 
I, I, wait for the rest of the rhyme. Forgive me for lying. Please. Go to the D. So dance, sweet girl, in this beautiful mess. And sing, sweet girl, the melody inside your chest. And dream, sweet girl, catch the wind and kiss the sky. Take those broken wings and fly. She was born in 1965 with sunshiny brown eyes in the middle of the U.S. of A. Good job, dude. So, let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tracy. Happy birthday to you. A weed cupcake.